is Alundra, a game that is not Zelda. Although it may play like one and has similar items like the Zelda games, it's not motherfucking Zelda. Are we clear? Yes? Good. Now, this game was released on the PlayStation 1 and was developed by Matrix Software, who now makes a lot of remake games and spin-off games like Tales vs. It was published in Japan by Sony Computer Entertainment in 1997, Working Designs in 1998 for North America, and in Europe by Cynosis in the same year, a company that has recently been shut down. The story goes like this. You are Alundra, a silent protagonist that is contacted telepathically by Lars, who is a wizard and one of the guardians of the seal. As to which seal, I have no idea. Anyways. He shows Alundra a vision of a village called Inoa, and tells him of a demon that has awoken from beneath the lake near it, and that he must stop it. The demon Melzas then interferes with Lars's communication, who basically taunts you and says you're weak. Fucker. You probably know what's going to happen now, right? You must head to Inoa and beat the bastard Melzas down, and prevent him from taking over the world. Now when you see the gameplay, you would think Zelda, yes? WRONG! Alundra was actually based off of another game called Landstalker, The Treasures of King Knoll. You can see the similarities already, what with the almost identical looking main character. God, his thighs are muscly. Anyways, certain people from the team who made Landstalker worked on Alundra, so if there's any game that's similar to it, it's Landstalker. Now unlike its spiritual prequel, where you're just pissing around trying to find the ultimate treasure, Alundra has a great story that is very dark, and it's a rare game where your hero is not appreciated in the slightest. Most RPGs nowadays, you're worshipped for being this savior or something. But in Alundra, you are looked down upon as an evil figure who is blamed for all of these terrible things that are happening to the village, such as people falling asleep and being trapped in horrible nightmares, or being attacked by monsters. And although Alundra hails from the Elna clan of Dreamwalkers, elves known for being able to enter people's dreams and save them from whatever plagues them, he is treated poorly if he cannot save the person in time, even though he risked his life for them. Out of all of the villages I've known in RPGs, this village has the worst luck ever. So much shit happens and so many people die, it's just brutal. I seem to gravitate towards games with dark depressing stories. Huh. One of the attractive points for this game is the puzzles. They are, for the most part, really good in that you have to think for a while to get past them, unlike most games that either spell it out for you or are non-existent. There is this one puzzle, however, that is frustrating as hell to do. It was simple, but the controls really miffed it up. You had to jump from pillar to pillar and with a D-pad. That's bloody hard. I miss games with amazing puzzles. I think the best would have been Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals for me. I should make an episode on that game. My god, I know too many random games. Okay, focusing. Alundra is an action-adventure type game, for the most part. You press one button to jump, another to swing your sword and attack. You have a menu with special items to choose from and use on certain bosses and environments. You collect special items, gain more health. It's just solid. I have no legitimate complaints about this game and how it plays. Well, actually, when you enter a dungeon with a boss at the end, there's usually one save point you can access. It usually works out that you save at the beginning, and it somehow loops back to it before you face the boss. But the dungeons can be quite lengthy at times, and you really don't want to quit halfway through because that would cost you a bit of time. Everything is weaved together nicely, and there's a great plot twist at the end that I won't tell you about. I encourage people to find this game and play it. You're looking at a solid 24 hour playthrough, and although there isn't much reason to play it again, you'll be glad you did. Also, look at Alundra's eyebrows. Holy crap, they're weird! If you plan to play this game, collect all the Gilded Falcons. Also, don't buy Alundra 2. It sucks. Enjoy!